What up, world? It's Radioactive Podcast. It's your host, Ace Boogie. And we got another special guest in the building, y'all. Legend, y'all. Y'all hear me? You hear me talking? Sir, go ahead and introduce yourself. What's up, baby? This your boy, King Kylie, man. What's up, baby? How you doing? Okay, so you brought a friend with you. Who, who, who is the friend you brought with you today? Oh, man, this is just uh, my big homie, man. Well, my little homie, but my big homie. I don't know. I think, <laughs> I think it's boy, your bodyguard. It's your bodyguard? My boy, Jihad. Nah, he's my homie. He bodyguards, though. Yeah. But he, you know, hey, yo. we just, we, we got, we got each other back. I'm his bodyguard, too. Really? <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, y'all close, though? Yeah, yeah, man. He go everywhere with me, man. Yeah. yeah um, are home. you from San Antonio, my man? I'm from San Diego, but I'm not. Okay. Not Word. Okay, okay. Y'all like me, nigga. I'm from Houston, born in Houston, but I've been out here for 20 years, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, okay. it's our San Antonio, man. You know what? That's I where we reside at. I wanted to get into the history yeah. of, of, of Kylie real quick. Yeah, so, man. born where again? In Houston. In Houston. Yeah. Brothers man. and sisters? Uh, for my mama, only child. My daddy got two kids, so okay. they my brothers and sister, though. Oh, well, yeah, for sure. But you one grew brother up with and my sister. Yeah, me and mama, man. Uh-huh. Until... You know, by seventh grade, start tripping. Yeah. Failed the seventh grade, then my daddy took me. Then uh-huh. I start tripping with him, and then uh-huh. my mama took me back. <laughs> yeah, so later. tripping, what, what, do you, what do you mean you was tripping? Like, you was doing... Just, I failed the seventh grade, just, you know, being a little knucklehead, man. Uh-huh. You know, tripping. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I hear you. I mean, we all go through, you, you smelling your piss? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> you smelling your piss? Nah, yeah, yeah. The old folks yeah say. I was, yeah. I thought I was, you know, just, you know... Tripping. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, I mean, do you think you were spoiled? No. I mean, to a point, but now, nah, man, I really, it was, it's more of just me being me, you know. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, nah, I wasn't spoiled, though. I didn't get anything I wanted. Mm-hmm. You know, I had to work for it. Yeah. So, I oh, mean, do you remember skiing growing up? Like, yeah. So, I mean, to me, in my head, it's like it's a small town type situation. Everybody know everybody. Is that is that true? Oh man! So you can't get away with nothing. God, do you, I mean, do you miss it? Or are you like, nah? Yeah, <laughs> he's in nah. <laughs> so this, this is home right here. More opportunity. I heard that. So what's what's better, San Antonio or Houston? Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> say San Antonio. <laughs> okay, so why why you ride with San Antonio? Because man, when I when I got here, you know, I was going through a lot. Mm-hmm. And uh, this is where I found music and uh, found, you know, my new love was, was music. Before that, it was basketball, but I got injured real bad. But, yeah, San Antonio, um, just people here accepting me, gave me a lot of hope. Mm-hmm. Um, and, man, I just, I call it home, you know. And it's, it's partly because, I, you know, I kind of started a new life here because uh, when I was in Houston, man, I, I played ball. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I was really, really, really good. Uh, number five player in Texas, you know, got all the big schools trying to get me. And I told my ACL and a half. And uh, I had to have, like, all these different surgeries. And it messed up my needle where I really – I couldn't play like I could before. Mm-hmm. You know, so I came down here to play basketball. And uh, when I came down from the jump, you know, it was a lot of love. And then – um just out of the blue, man, and music. I wouldn't even, I didn't even care about music. Music just popped up um, playing around. And uh, ever since that that point, man, all the love that people showed me, you know, was was crazy. And um, this is why I found music to be a musician. So, you know, since that's like the love of my life mm-hmm. and the love that people gave me here, and then me just being here, it just, you know, at the, at the from the jump, it's always been, I want to give back to San Antonio the best way that I can for inspiring me on my music. And then um, also doing what I can to help San Antonio get noticed by more people than just people noticing it for the Spurs or, you know, for for the Riverwalk. You know what I'm saying? I want to be a part of the music industry and to put San Antonio on on the map and make it known. You know what I'm saying? So that was my motivation. So the crazy thing about it is I know you as substitute teacher. (laughs) <laughs> it's like that's that's how I know you, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Um being in school and seeing you and then he's yeah. like, Yeah, he actually raps too, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah. Like, I knew you first as a sub, okay. example, you yeah. know what I'm saying? That's what's um, up, man. what came first uh for you, the education or the rapping? Education, man. Uh okay. well you I go mean to education at? always been number one, you okay. know what I'm saying? Um shit, man. That must have been like back in oh five. 
Oh, okay. folks. So like, where? And I'm talking about you. Oh, so, me. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was yeah. I was a yeah. Highlands High School. Highlands, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, man. So yeah. so basically, man, I came out here as a youngster and uh to play bar uh Incarnate Word mm-hmm. gave me a scholarship to play. And uh yeah. education I always been first, man, in my house, cause you know. I wanted to make something out of myself Mm -hmm. and I wanted to use basketball to do it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I hate school, man. I got dyslexia. So like, I hate school, like school is is stupid to me, but I did it for my mama. My mama Mm -hmm. wanted me to graduate. So I used that money that the colleges gave me to play ball to get my, my, uh, my degree, you know what I'm saying? And from there, um, it's crazy. You say that about substituting, man. Um, when I finished college, you know, I had, I was at that point, you know, I, was, I just kind of started rapping. I wasn't mm-hmm. making enough money like that. And so it was either go back home and go live with my mama, find a job back in Houston, mm-hmm. or do what I can to survive and be a musician in San Antonio with a college degree. Right, right. So um, I decided to, to stay here. So when I stayed here, it took a lot of things for me to do, man. I had mm-hmm. to I had to uh, find any kind of jobs that I could. Mm-hmm. I had to to do whatever it took to 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 live and survive here on my own with mm-hmm. nothing. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So uh, that's also why I love San Antonio so much because I got embraced by people. People let me stay at their house. Um, I, st- I started substitute cheat teaching, but that that only lasted for like a month. Really? Yeah, because uh, like you said, people was like, "Oh, he rapped too." Mm-hmm. Man, everybody kept coming up to me in class. Oh, and, you know, it, it, it was so were a, you a distraction or nah, it was more of uh I didn't want to get in no trouble. Like I don't, you know, I'm not somebody who mess with little girls. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But all the little girls was trying to holler at me, yeah, yeah. come by the classroom. Uh-huh. I'm like, oh no, nah, man, I ain't trying to get involved in none of this. Yeah, yeah. It just didn't seem right, man. And so that didn't last too long. Mm-hmm. Um, I liked it because it was a hundred dollars a day, you know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. but man, it that, that didn't last long. And then from there, man, I had to I went to all kind of different for phases, man, different jobs. I was even a mover at one point. I worked for time on the cable at one point. Like I was a vet assistant at one point, mm-hmm. you know. And uh then it got down to the point to where man, I it's gotta I gotta survive, survive, bro. So I had to go to the streets a little bit. It was it was a trip, man, for me to be here. And that's what I don't think people understand the survival stuff that I had to go through just to make my way in San Antonio. So like when people say, Kylie, this and when you started out saying this boy a legend, mm-hmm. it's like, man, it comes from a lot of hard work and determination and doing anything that I possibly could to be known for people to know who I am, you know what I'm saying? So it took a lot, bro. And and uh, I, I dedicated and sacrificed a lot, you know what I'm saying? I, I sacrificed a degree, you know what I'm saying? So it, it was a lot that I did to 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 be here and to rep this city and to say, mm-hmm. like, I can rep this city and have the, um, the right to rep this city because of the things that I did for the city, you know what I'm saying? And if, I ain't going to say, like, I did everything for the city. I'm talking about what I did to live here. You know what I'm saying? If you make your way in a place and you got to struggle and survive and hustle Mm -hmm. to live in that place, that place is your home, man. You know what I'm saying? No matter where you was born. So tell me, tell me about your lowest times. Your lowest times. Times I just told you. Yeah, (laughs) yeah. yeah. I don't want to be no I'm trying to figure out how do you you keep, how do you keep pushing? How do you keep, what's the motivation to keep going? Because me, like, it's me, it's like, and like, like I said, I found a new love. Mm-hmm. When you love something, if you truly love it, you're going to do whatever you got to for it. You know what I'm saying? Right. And so that's what it was. I really love music mm-hmm. and I really love being here. And you got to understand at this point, basketball was all I knew. Right. All I knew was basketball, bro. So when that got taken away from me, I ain't know nothing else. And then music came in the scene. So then it was like music. Oh shit, this is crazy. And not only is it music, because I've always been a fan of music, so I always loved it. Mm-hmm. But to be a part of it, and I said, man, those are the things I couldn't do in basketball because of my injuries, I want to do it in music. So it gave me the same hope, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And so, bam, that's where it all came from. Determination, believing in myself, 
never never giving up you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. so that, that i mean that's what i'm listening is. to you when you hurt yourself or had the injuries i know at that point you kind of felt like oh, where man, am i gonna go from you here? gotta understand dog like i was chilling with nba players i was I was uh, on an AAU team that traveled all around the country for free. They played, mm-hmm. pay, paid for everything. My plane tickets, my clothes. I was sponsored by Adidas in high school. Mm-hmm. I had all my family draped in Adidas. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting all the major coaches calling me from Duke, North Carolina, Florida State, all the big schools. Mm-hmm. It was ridiculous, dog. So the stuff that I went through and then to have that taken from me, like it was, it was, uh, you know, a humbling experience, man. It's like you seeing you going somewhere and you got a possibility to make millions mm-hmm. and then boom, it's gone in the snap of a finger. In my case, a snap of a leg. You know what I'm saying? And, and uh, yeah, man, it, it, it hurts, especially when that's all you know. That. That's You put all your chips in that basket. You know what I'm saying? So it sounds like rapping is your passion. So... What do you say to the people who feel like, or who say that you too old, or to say that you're riding on the coattails of an older song? Oh man, you know, what's crazy about it is, I can't do nothing but, you know, blame today, society for some reason. Mm-hmm. There's no, it's no respect towards the older people who, like OGs who've been in the game, people ain't nobody respecting them no more. You know what I'm saying? So I blame that on society. But uh, in my in my heart, it don't matter how old, how old you are. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like you can't never give up on yourself. You know what I'm saying? And I love to do music. I, when I was fucking 19, I was like, I do this shit till I'm 80 years old. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I love it. Because I'm not because a dollar I'm making from it. Because I love to do it. So. Ain't nobody finna tell me I'm too old. Honestly, truth be told, once this new project come out that I'm about to drop, it's called Return of the King. Uh-huh. Nigga, I'm killing, man, anyway, I'm not even getting to it. When it come out, <laughs> niggas gonna see like, okay, he older, but he murdering everybody here, uh-huh. period. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? You know, people, you don't say them words, and, people and, gonna and on, and on top it. of all that, can't nobody tell me shit about a, using an old song or this or that. Don't nobody in San Antonio got a hotter song than I ever had coming out when I was day age. Nobody. Period. I got, besides Blake, I'm the next nigga with the most views in San Antonio. Period. I mean, besides Austin Mahoney or, or that new little chick who's singing, yeah, okay. you know, but they were major labels. I am, I'm by myself. Uh, all my views together, I think I'm up to like 30 million views on everything mm-hmm. you put it all together. You know what I'm saying? I got videos with four, three, four million views. Mm-hmm. Nobody doing that, man. So you, you need some respect saying? on your name. So, yeah, it's, 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 it's about the time <laughs> niggas start realizing the respect factor. And then on top of that, besides rest in peace to my boy uh, Chris P, I'm the only nigga with a song with Kevin Gates in the city. You know ah. what I'm saying? So, man, I mean, niggas, man, anyway, bro, Motherfuckers know my name. More people know who I am than uh, more people or whoever want to say that this or that. More people know who Kylie is. Not none of these motherfuckers going to um, to Walmart and having people run up to them want to take pictures and stop them every time they go. Can none of y'all go to any restaurant in the city and get your your meal paid for for free where you ain't got to pay nothing? All you got to do is tip. Nobody, nobody doing that. Is it irritating to have people run up on you like that? No. <laughs> nah, ain't tired of it yet at all. Nah, you because, get tired of because it. look, bro, I'm gonna tell you, it's appreciation factor. Mm-hmm. Oh, come on, man. I appreciate your music. I love what you're doing. Man, that shit, it made me feel good, man. So I sit there and take as many pictures as they want, unless I'm in the middle of eating, putting food in my mouth. Mm-hmm. Other than that, oh no, nah. yeah, oh, you, you get yeah. no breaks, man. yeah. <laughs> nah, yeah, I do. You gotta wait till I get through eating, man. So you, oh, you see catch yourself, me for the appetizers wait, wait, do you see come yourself out. Uh, snapping on somebody if they do interrupt you while you eat? No. Nah, nah. That's nah. How you gonna handle it then? Just you mean hey, man, I appreciate the love, but uh can we wait till I get No, 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 man. I just want to take this picture though. What you gonna you know? Yeah, hey, to a point, if somebody get disrespectful, uh-huh. then you know what it is. <laughs> it's, 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 it's gonna be you know, what it is. Over here yeah, you but <laughs> but that's the thing, man. Nobody ever, man, I'm talking about. I've been doing this since 2000, 2001. Mm-hmm. Ain't nobody been disrespectful to me like that. Mm-hmm. Only one person was disrespectful to me like that. Who was that? And, it, and they did it with a group of people, and they got drawn down on, and they all bowed down. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm not going to get into who it was. Oh, they okay. irrelevant. I was it was at <laughs> Reptiles, though, anyway. It was okay. Yeah. 
you know. Okay. But, but but other than that, ain't nobody been disrespected. People talk, they be online, little keyboard gangsters yeah. saying this and saying that, little girls and shit, but ain't nobody ever came up to my face and disrespected me. You know what I'm saying? Not nobody. You know what I'm saying? So I don't nigga could talk all they want to. You know what I'm saying? I, I know who I am. I know what I've done. And I know where I'm at. And I know what I'm going to keep doing. If somebody don't like it, they don't like it. You know right. what I'm saying? But everything I do is off real purposes. Like, it's a real purpose behind what I'm doing. I'm not doing it. Some, somebody in my email, is, uh, not yesterday, but a while ago. I just seen it yesterday. It looked mm -hmm. like from like three months ago. Talking about when I go feed the homeless and I post it online, I'm doing it because I'm trying to gain clout. Fuck man, what, I, fuck clout. I'm doing it for a positive reason. Mm -hmm. I'm doing it because I want to encourage other people to help other people. I want to spread positivity. Would you rather me get online showing somebody fighting? You know what I'm saying? Right. Showing somebody doing something ignorant. Mm -hmm. So because I'm doing something positive, I'm trying to gain clout. What kind of, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? People retarded, man. But you can't help a negative soul, man. You know what I'm saying? It's mm -hmm. all about positivity, man. You know, so I had to learn that shit too. So God bless the negative folks out there that think they know everything, think they know me, uh, believe lies that mm -hmm. people tell. Lie come in all shapes and forms, man. I don't care, male or female, people gonna lie because they jealous of you and they want you to, they, want, they don't want people to like you. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be like that. What's the craziest lie? One of the craziest you lies I've heard is that I got kicked out of Houston and uh, no, because nobody will fuck with me as far as the artists go. <laughs> that was one of the craziest lies I heard. And I was told by somebody who literally knew who, who I was, somebody who I took to Paul Wild House before in Houston said this lie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and I seen it on Facebook you know, in a comment. You know, it, it was a Kylie hate hate Kylie bash comment or some shit. So people on that line, I had another dude lie on there. Um, so I'm like real upfront when it comes to shit. Like if I see somebody talking something on Facebook, this is how I used to be. Now I don't care, I really don't care. But I used to be if I see, oh, well, you know, it was more about my shit. If somebody got on my shit and said something, if they was on another post on another page, I could care less. But you get on my page and you want to try to say something silly, I'm not finna go back and forth with you on the comment. I'm going right to your inbox. Mm. What's up with you? Why you talking like that? Why you being disrespectful? Next, where you at? <laughs> and so one dude, he said, I don't want no static, but I would like to talk to you in person. So uh, he had his him. cousin call me to set it up. We go to his cousin's house. I pull right the fuck up. What's up? Oh. Man, I'm just mad because you didn't listen to a song that I had put out and you didn't give me your opinion. You fell for it, Kyle. No, nah, I ain't fell fall for, for it because my man. the people who it was with is with my partner. And then my partner knew his cousin and I knew his cousin had a son that wanted to meet me. Uh -huh. So it was like I could knock out two birds in one stone. Okay. So that's why it ended up happening. So then but then he get on the comments on that same comment that, that, that I just tell you person lied that I took him to Paul Wild House in Houston that said I got kicked out of Houston. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that another person in that comment said, oh, I, I had met up with Kylie because we had an issue. Like, he ran up on me and yeah. checked me. <laughs> it just, it just, it's just sad and ridiculous that people could could lie and, and, and mm -hmm. just to like try to degrade somebody, but I didn't seen the shit firsthand. And that never make me strong and tougher and more motivated. But you know, mm -hmm. it's it's a trip how people lie, man. It, and they lie bad. Like, I mean, the lies is 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 really outlandish. <laughs> I ain't well, gonna lie, man. Well, it's speaking outlandish. of the toughness and, and so forth, how do you as far as when it comes to these comments, yeah, and mental health, yeah, how do you keep it out of your head, like? Man, positivity, people, people you know, if you practice crucial. positivity, it becomes second nature. Okay. So if, if, if you practice negativity, you're going to snap and crack your fingers, just slap shit out of somebody. Right. But if you, pa if you practice positivity, first off, what's the most positive thing you could ever think of? You tell me, what's the most positive thing you can ever think of? If somebody uh, talking about you saying this or that. Positive thing. You yeah, that of. you could think of. Because I'm going to tell you mine. <laughs> you don't know, right? No, all right. The first like positive thing I could think of is Lord knows. The Lord knows. God know. Like the Lord knows. So if heart. God, if God know that I ain't doing what they lying about, okay. That's why? I mean. Why I need to kill? 
Now, they, their opinion don't matter. His, his opinion matter. So I know somebody hmm. saying something trying to degrade me or down me or whatever, make me look bad. I ain't got to defend nothing. You know, I know God know that I'm true. I know God know that I do hmm. everything what I do with a genuine heart. Hmm. I know God know my purpose and what I'm doing. Yeah, but I mean, your reputation does mean something, right? Yeah, it do. It do, man. But what I'm going to do, go beat up every hater that talk about me. You know what I'm saying? This is true. You know, That's not so very smart. At the end of the day, man, it really come down to what you got to do is keep going. Because the more you keep going, if somebody want to believe a lie and, instead of trying to find out the real for themselves, mm -hmm. that's on them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All my fans that, that show me love, man, I do. I go out of my way for my fans. You know what I'm saying? Being a fan of me is like being family. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why I say you can't really get on my nerves like that at a mm -hmm. restaurant. <laughs> if you're a real fan, you're not going yeah. to really get on my nerves. You're going to respect, you know yeah, respect it. It's, it's a major respect yeah. factor. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Major. Okay. So with uh, artists like Blake, as you spoke of earlier, and like yeah. BJ Goddamn, yeah. do you feel like you, you're being left behind? No, nah, I don't. I don't, man. I, I don't because I'm still getting music checks in the mail. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, and people got to understand, it ain't just about San Antonio. Like, I, I don't know, in a lot of places other than San Antonio, you know, I am. But, I mean, I ain't dropped music in like two, three years. You know? Right, right. I mean, people yeah. have been wondering, like, what's up with that, man? Yeah, man. Adjustments in life, new business adventures, doing a lot of things, man. And, okay. and I ain't gonna lie, at one point, with the things that I had going on in my life, I had got discouraged with some things. It had nothing to do with popularity or who here or who there. Well, I mean, this, some people may know. be feeling discouraged about this too today. Yeah. What, what is what you what discouraged yeah. you? I, no, I was discouraged about a lot of life things, things okay. I was going through. Mm -hmm. um, things wasn't adding up the way I needed it to for certain things for, for marketing money and uh -huh. certain other things. And I, I ended up having to put more money into businesses and other things and then not having the money that I needed to do certain things that I needed to do in music. Mm -hmm. it's so it was a lot of little things, man. And it's it's just a lot of life situations, dog. You know what I'm saying? Life comes at you hard now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, depending on what you're going through, like you could, bro, you could have as much money as Antonio Brown. Mm -hmm. You know what that is? Football player? Antonio Brown, a football player. Mm -hmm. Where he at right now? He fired sitting on the couch from the NFL. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And he got millions. Hmm. You don't think he discouraged? Oh, I bet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, it, you know, financially don't have nothing to do with discouragement. It could be just uh, a I life situation. Going. You know what I'm okay. saying? So why are you relevant in the rap scene today? Because I'm still getting booked for shows, I'm still okay. getting booked for features, mm -hmm. I'm still getting music checks, uh, I'm still getting fans showing love, I'm still doing everything I need to do, you know, as a musician, without even dropping no music. That's a crazy thing. As a matter of fact, my check, last two years, my checks then went up higher than before without even dropping new music. Why, why How crazy is that? Is that? Why, why you think that is? I don't know. There's people miss <laughs> me and you know, <laughs> oh, okay. jam the shit more. Calling. I don't know. Okay. You know. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. What's uh, your thoughts on Takashi Six Nine right now? <laughs> Takashi, hmm? God bless him, man. I gotta pray for him. Uh, God bless his soul, man. I mean, is there a time and place to snitch? Is snitching appropriate at a man, certain? That's between him and God, bro. No, no, I'm asking you a question. Like, if it was me, I hey. First off, I wouldn't be in that position mm -hmm. if it was me. Mm -hmm. um, nah, man, you know, dude, he doing what's best for him, I guess. I don't know. I understand that, but I'm <laughs> saying, I'm asking you personally, is there a time and a, and a place that snitching is okay? Um, In his case, no. Not in his case, I'm just asking you. Nah, you, you know. got different people. Me? Mm -hmm. Nah, what up, what up, so what never, do I? never snitching with you. I'm not getting in myself in no situation where I got to talk about nobody else for one. Okay. For two, if it come down between me and somebody else, I'm putting myself there. And what I mean by that is I'm taking care of myself. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not talking about nobody else. I'm worrying about myself. 
If Takashi put himself in that situation, he need to focus on himself and worry about his actions, not trying to make it, this person did this and make me look bad. Right. He did what he did. He needed to accept it and do what he got to do and, you know, come home after that. But now nah, when you when you put yourself in a situation, you need to take responsibility for your consequences. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, so my man, you can jump in on this too. So check this out. Yeah. We in the car. Yeah. I got dope in the car. It's mine. Yeah. It's under the seat, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My yeah. fact, you two guys. Yeah, that's different. I know what you're about to say. Yeah. So what nah. so, so the cop pull us over. I ain't I mean, saying it's mine. What y'all was what's what's is it okay snitching in? No, nah, it ain't it ain't okay to snitch then just gonna so have to beat going, dude up every day. So y'all going down with me. I'm gonna have to beat him up every cell. day. He gonna he gonna end up saying it's his. So y'all going down for it? He gonna end up saying it's his. I, I understand, but y'all still gonna go down for it, right? He gonna end up saying it's his. Yeah. <laughs> he gonna end up saying it's his, man. Yeah, make sure that. Either okay. way, the law is gonna do whatever they want with that situation. So mm -hmm. you might as well just go in your business with old boy and make him do what he gotta do. <laughs> so pretty much you saying is no stitching, period. That's just it. There's no reason to do it. Man, look. If you put yourself in those situations, mm -hmm. you need to do what you got to do and suffer your consequences because you put yourself in that situation. situation. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Who's your uh, top two favorite San Antonio artists? My who what? I'm sorry. Your top two favorite San Antonio artists. Oh, uh, man, that's a tough one, man. Two? You're just giving me two. They just it's had a two, top man. 40. That's now, nah, man. Two lit, two artists. Sheesh. Your top two. Go to it's, it's it's a it's a I got I don't I don't have 40 artists in San Antonio, so mm -hmm. I don't know where that list came from. <laughs> but I do have a, at least at least about eight to ten okay. new artists. I man. want your top two though. But um <laughs> new artists are just period. <laughs> you said new or just period. In San Antonio, they can be new, they can be new, that's fine. Oh man. That's tough, mm -hmm. man. No. Saying two, you should have asked me that before I got here, so I could have narrowed it down. Oh, we got time. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna go out for, uh, you know. Mm, I don't know, man. That's a no, tough it's, one. It's quite a few of them. Yeah, man, it there. is. It Yo, is. This is a new dude out here, Hispanic guy, Rich Raps, I think, man. Yeah. They be playing his song on the radio like this, this and that. Yeah. And it, you know, it's one of them songs that grow on you. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So I ain't gonna lie, I'm, I'm, I'm checking him out. He, he seems like he's pretty legit. You heard yeah, song? Rich, Rich is live. Oh, so you that's, met him before? That's my partner. That's our partner. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's our partner. How? I'm, I'm gonna let you ponder on this, but keep this in the back of your head. I want you to tell me your top two. How did you get the Hispanic community so tough? Because I'm not gonna lie. Just showing love, man. You know? Yeah. That's it. I just show, they show me love. I show them love. I mean, we are the same. I don't, I don't care what color somebody is. That's, uh -huh. You know, um, really, it was from my CEO and my and my first independent label. He was Hispanic, and mm -hmm. um, he he had us a, around a lot of Hispanics. Um, we did a lot of uh, Hispanic events, and I mean, but just besides that period, I mean, San Antonio is mostly Hispanic. Hispanic. That's what I'm saying. That's so, why it was such a genius. Yeah, San, San Antonio, <laughs> I mean, so if, like, if, if people are going to show you love, <laughs> and people going to show you love, then, you know, of course it's going to be mostly Hispanics because that's what's mostly in San Antonio. I mean, has your Spanish gotten better? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's no, funny. I know Kamo and Stas and right. Caliente. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I ain't never tried to learn Spanish, man. It's just seem too difficult. It do, it do, it do. <laughs> it do. But I pass it in school, though. <laughs> you got your yeah. top two yet? Uh, <laughs> man, I'm I'm gonna be biased. Go ahead. And, uh, my my top two is uh, Kylie and Kylie. Ah, uh, <laughs> he copping out. No, no. Look, look, look y'all. Kali, Kali works so well under pressure. You know, I believe that he can handle a question like this because he's a star, of San Antonio. Uh, so, Kali, who's your favorite? Your top two artists? Hard, cause I'm trying to think, man. 
But they don't have to understand. Look, I put oh. y'all. I did not give him these questions ahead of time, and I'm putting the pressure on. Dylan, Dylan. <laughs> Man. Yo, y'all got some questions for Kylie too, man. Put them in the comments so I can ask them. I don't know. I had to come back to We're gonna ask them whatever. Okay. Okay, we're gonna come back. We're gonna come back. It depends on what you what you what you what you mean. What what uh when you say a top artist, you go off of what? what I'm going, going off of on? when you go into your car, this is like one of the people that you're gonna listen to. Yeah, that you're gonna listen to, or you're gonna you're gonna show someone else, like, hey, you seen this guy? You know what I mean? Like uh, I say one of them is Lil Yoda. Okay. Lil Yoda. Uh, man. Mm -hmm. and then after that, man, it's kind of like a little toss up so between a couple people, man. Right. Uh, and, and I'm surprised he didn't say Kylie. That's what I thought he was going to say. I already said. I already said Kylie. So you know, you who's said, better, Yoda you or Kylie? King Kylie better. <laughs> who's better, King Kylie or Yoda? <laughs> King Kylie. <laughs> Nah, nah. Oh, Yoda. <laughs> nah, nah. Uh, uh, Yoda, Yoda. Uh, man, I got, I got a man. I got a few people. I, I do like Blake. Blake's good. I like Mateo's son. I like uh, uh, my boy Vision. Vision is nice. Uh, um, M Duke is nice. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and it's it's some other nice people, man. You know, but. It, it it's different to me because you know I come up in a different type of era, you know. Yeah, we had screwed up shit when she was simple, but we also had you know Tupac and you know people who was really spitting. And nowadays, uh, music is more about vibes and you know stuff like that. I it's it's talent like like to me, Lil Uzi is talented. You know what I'm saying? Why? No matter Why because of how he can use his voice and, and create the melodies and some mm -hmm. of the things that he says. But you know, so I'm not gonna sit up and say like even amigos, like like Offset, Offset is talented as mm -hmm. far as rapping. He he be spitting it the way he spit. You know, it's it's still to J Cole. You know, it's it's talent and music still. Don't get me wrong, but for the most part, like I be hearing certain songs, I be like, man, this really about a vibe. <laughs> so name me an artist that you worked with that you will never work with again. Ooh. That would be um, it was just one dude. I, I, don't, I, I don't even remember his name, but <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a lot. A lot of them is people who paid me for features. Okay, you know and what was about this and feature? I, at, at, at one point in time, I just wanted to get on everybody's shit, and the mm -hmm. fact that people was paying me made it even better. Yeah. So I would just jump on anybody's shit, and oh my god, I think that's just the most horrible idea for a rapper uh, to ever do. Don't ever do a song for money. Make sure that that person is good and they sound good. Don't just do it just to get money from. Well, so what happened? Like I want to know how you oh, felt. Man. So you got yeah. in there, you oh. got in there, right? You was hype, you was ready, and then the chorus came on. Nah, and it, was like, it was Ice JJ Fish. This, <laughs> this, yeah, <so. laughs> almost, bro. This is it too. Almost, man. I did a favor for my brother. Uh -huh. Oh man, boy. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> so embarrassed. So did, you, did that make that moment at that moment you wanted to quit? <laughs> no, no, I don't want to quit. Just want to slap the shit out of myself. Oh, Just want to slap myself. What are you thinking? And it, it really came, like I said, it was a favor for my brother. And then mm -hmm. at the same time, uh, you know, he do was paying. I just was like, fuck it, let's do it. And I, what I messed up was I didn't listen because I be trying to be cool, man, be nice and causal and try to help people out. You know, man, I should have been like, hey, let me hear your shit. Let me check you out first. Mm -hmm. And mostly that's what people do do, especially now that people be like, man, I got this song. They already had a song done, the hook. Like I just did this feature for, for Tony O. He had the hook done. He had a verse on it. The beat was right. And he let me hear the vibe with it. This dude gonna just send a beat. Hey, make something to this. I should have known right there that he was trash. I should have known. <laughs> known. It was at that moment. <laughs> when somebody do that, that mean they, they suck because you shouldn't want 
if you get a feature, for, like say right now I did a feature for, and I got Jay Z on it, mm -hmm. I wouldn't just say Jay Z here go a beat. I'm already had a song ready because I wanted to be my song and just incorporate Jay Z into it off of my shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's what most artists do. They, you know, most artists get somebody featured on their song, not tell the person to make a song. Hey, make a song and then I'm a feature on it. Mm -hmm. That's why I said I should have known right then and there he was trash. Um. I'm gonna switch it up just a little bit. Uh, now, nah, my man, you can jump in too on this. How do you? Now I've asked this before, but I want to know y'all's thoughts. <clears throat> How do you say you you hollering at a female, right? And you hollered at another one, and come to find out they knew each other. How do you handle those type of situations? Of what? Of females, of you hollering at females, and they end up knowing each other. Female, oh, what is your process on how do you man. handle that? Do you do you sit there and make the decision of who you want more? You try to finesse both. I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm Yo, low. <laughs> yeah, I'm not in that conversation. Well, I, I understand, but you had a life before. Listen, listen, guys, you had a life before. So this is cool. what we're doing. We're putting your you mind. Gotta be an interviewer, but I'm out of there. <laughs> he said, "I gotta go home, lay next to him." I'm not on duty. Not on duty. Know, All right. Okay. That's good enough. That was that was a good answer. I, I like that. See, that's why you got. See, that's why you yeah. got him here. Yeah. yeah, I like how he uh, he stepped that. No, I told you to ask me whatever you want, but that one. <laughs> that's not in the. Uh... Well, well, speaking of the family, speaking of the family, yeah. um, do you have any children? No. Uh, so this will be your first. My first baby is on the way, dude. Your in seven first. Weeks. How yeah. are you feeling? Like a million bucks. Really? Yeah. What is girl boy? What, what, what? We don't know, man. We're gonna wait. We're gonna what? So you're yeah. like gender reveal type of thing. No, no, no. What? We'll wait. So you're gonna wait till birth and be like, Yes, when the baby pop out, that's that's when we gonna that's the gender reveal right there. That's risky. Yeah. So what colors are you going with since you don't neutral. know? They got the neutral colors. Neutral colors. No. They, they what got, do you want? As far as what? A baby? Yeah. A healthy baby. Come on, man. What you want? A healthy baby. <laughs> of course. We because, are. man, I don't want to sit up here and be like, oh, I want a girl, and then it come out a boy. Oh, I want a boy, and then it come out being a girl. It is, it and then is. I'm biased towards my baby. I ain't having my that's baby not, coming into listen, the world on some That's how you know he's a first time father. That's not going to happen. Believe you me. That's not. Bro, I'm seven weeks away, and I don't care. I just want a baby. Of course. Uh, uh, of course. Uh, I just but want you know, a, you know, know in your heart what you want. I want, of course, I would want a son to play basketball and uh -huh. do the things that I did. Wait, but you trying knows, to say you can't do that with a daughter? If I, if I have, I'm not done. <laughs> if, I, if I have if I have a son and my son come out and he want to write books, mm -hmm. then I don't want to be like disappointing myself or something. I mm -hmm. want my baby to do what they want to do. And if I have a girl, yeah, of course I want a girl. This is a girl's age this day and age, man. Mm -hmm. Women are running stuff right now. Yes, you know what is. I'm saying? So. I don't. That's why I say it don't matter to me. Either way, it don't matter. It really don't. It don't. I want both. I want a boy and I want a girl, but All I right, want nah, one baby. Now nah, nah, you gonna find out he have twins. <laughs> nah, he was hiding behind the other nah, one. We already the whole seen time. all that. We, <laughs> we see the baby every two weeks. So yeah, oh, the baby, it's snap. only one in there. Oh man, that's too funny, man. It's only one in there. Okay. So. <laughs> Oh, what's your biggest fear? That's being my biggest fear, mm -hmm. man. Just, just don't let her be no hope. <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't know, man. Um, just the safety of my baby, uh -huh. making sure my baby's all right. You know, no disease, no none of that stuff to ever happen to him. You know what I'm saying? Please, school like, shootings. Just, it's, it's, it's those type of things, man. Don't lie, I I can't really have no fears because mm -hmm. I just put it in God's hands. You know, and and. Uh, God, he gonna be there, man. He gonna take care of him or her. So, you know, I really don't, I don't think about that. I try not to think about those things. No, look, that's what's yeah. up, man. I can tell from your face, man, you excited, bro. Oh, man. You ready. Come on. You ready. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm nervous, though. Yeah, yeah. I was, you, need, you need any pointers or anything, man? You can ask the world. They can help you out real quick. No? Sure? Yeah. Anything? Uh, with what now? My bad. Any point, anything you want to know? Any points you but you know I want to ask them with, with babies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I know everything about babies, bro. I, I came up in a, a big family, so mm -hmm. I was like the one that was watching all the babies, mm -hmm. and babies love me, and mm -hmm. so I'm good, man. I'm babies, that's 
I'm a, I'm a, I'm a daddy, bro. Like for real. You seem to be a real big advocate when it comes to like cancer and things like that. Yeah. Why? You know, it's not really, it's not, not really that I'm an advocate of it. It's more of I'm approached by a lot of people. And then I know people who have died from cancer mm -hmm. who had cancer or who beat cancer. Mm -hmm. And, um, I just hate the disease, you know, and um, I, I do my best to support people in those type of situations mm -hmm. to show them, you know, you know, I took one dude, he, he was uh, having cancer, man. I took him to see two chains, mm -hmm. uh, not to see two chains, to come with me backstage while I perform with two chains. And I introduced him to two chains. He got to hang out with him and uh, he ended up beating cancer, you know, shortly after. I took him with me. I went to his house. I picked him up. We drove to uh, San Marcos. He rode with me. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it, it, from that experience, he was so happy. I don't know. I gave him courage. But I, I talked to him. I said, man, don't ever give up. Don't ever stop fighting. You know, just keep going. And he did, man. He, he doing good. Um, is it wrong for you to charge your partner full price for a verse? Like you charge everybody. Uh, else. I would say yeah. If it's your partner, yeah, I would say, man. Just, why? I mean, you a business? Nah, man, it's your partner. Like music is about co-signing and helping put somebody on. If, mm -hmm. As long as your partner can put something in your pocket, that should be cool enough. Now, I, I'm not, I didn't say do it for free. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so just don't charge in the full price. You know what I'm saying? Tell them get you some. Man, go ahead and give me a you know a, a few shirts or something from the stores or shoes or mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. man. Something you know just to show the appreciation. But it depends on who your partner is. If your partner just as live as you, y'all should work together. There's plenty of people I worked with without paying them nothing because I just thought they were very talented. You know what I'm saying? So, and they wasn't my partner at all. They was just somebody I thought was very talented. Just decided is, to work with. Is radio play irrelevant now? Uh, and not irrelevant. Mm, it's not irrelevant. It's, it seems it's, like it's all about streams now. Like yeah, streams, but nah, streams. radio ain't irrelevant because people working, bro. When people are working, the radio is very relevant. When people have, when there's traffic, like there is here, the radio is re is very relevant, man. And I and the point to prove with that is, is that if you turn on the radio and you're still hearing that radio promote other people and businesses, then yes, the radio is very relevant because those people are paying the radio. Those people are paying thousands and thousands of dollars to promote on the radio. And would nobody do that if something ain't relevant? I heard that. Speaking of the relevance, now in today's society, because we had spoke earlier about how you like these little girls keep trying to come at you and you was like, no, nah, I need to move around from that. But uh, you had made a, po a post uh, back, I wanna say, I don't know when it, when it was, but you was talking about how a, a girl accused you and your friends of rape? Yeah, man. So what happened with that? Man, <laughs> some girl decided that, we, we had did this big show in Corpus. Mm -hmm. and I guess she was at the show and she thought that we had all this money and mm -hmm. she was going, call out rape against us because she thought she's gonna get paid or something i don't know man but how shit. was that feeling when you got that phone call was Scary. it a phone call was it no nah, it was a come knock on your room at your hotel and come outside and get handcuffed and go down to the police station That's what was crazy. the first thing that went through your mind when that happened um first thing that went through my mind mm -hmm. what the fuck going on <laughs> <laughs> I do. Yeah, cause I, we didn't even know. I didn't even. It was it was five of us, and we we didn't even. It was thirty of us, but they picked five of us out mm -hmm. of the group. Um, but we didn't even know what was going on. Like we was like, "What's going on? Like why? You know?" And then after everything, we getting the police cars on the way. You know, then the cops. You know what you did, nigga? I'm like, what? <laughs> what the fuck did I do? <laughs> then we get to the station, then they start interviewing us. And, that's when you find out. I'm like, well, what's up? Whenever I got to do DNA tests and all that, come on, man. I ain't Let's do nothing. It. Yeah, I ain't here to play no games. So do you think people who make false claims should be charged? So people who make false claims be charged. Um yeah. I think I think some disciplinary some disciplinary action should be uh happen to them. And I, I just believe that I say that only in reason to because it would cut it out mm -hmm. 
you know. What do you think that consequence should be like life? They should, nah, they should nah, hell no, 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 no. <laughs> what should the no, consequence be in your mind? Buying a ticket? Maybe, maybe, you know, a few nights in jail, a ticket, uh, community service, you know, something, something to just, you know, go on their record as a what treason or something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Something, something like that, man. Um, name me a local artist you're dying to work with. And a major artist you're dying to work with? Uh, a major artist, what and what again? Uh, both that you're dying to work with, like you really want to work with. Both. Both. Two major artists. Dying no, no, one local and one's major. Oh, one local. Uh, dying to work with local. Mm hmm. Oh, shit. Ooh, I got another good one. <laughs> yeah, that's a real good one. I, I don't think it's nobody I'm dying to work with locally. Um, but uh, out, out locally, we just go out locally. <laughs> um, man, that's like too many, bro. It's too many. Okay, I'm gonna help you out with that. Who in the game right now? Go ahead. I'm gonna help, help you out with that. You're making a hit song, you get to have five features on this hit song, local and major artists that's gonna be on this song. Local and major. Mm -hmm. uh, I would, if you I mean saying five. it like that, I would do uh, five. Five. Five artists all together. Five in San Antonio and five major. On one song? No, no, oh, no, no. Just, no. These are just these are two different oh, songs. Oh, uh, I say, I mean, I I, I say Blake. Um, okay. I get rich on some okay. Mateo son. Um, I do my boy. Uh, it's a couple people, but I love my boy Swanee, man. Swanee is dope. Okay. Um, I throw Yoda on there. And, is that five? Uh, no, yeah. and Live Ola. And Live, Live Ola, Ola, my brother. Yeah. Okay. Um, on that too. Uh, now the majors. Wait, wait. Major. What's this song called? What's this song Which called? One? This local, the local artist song. The local artist song. Shh. Man, I had to hit a beat, man. Uh. Uh. It's called my down, dog. Down for whatever. Down for whatever. Okay. Whatever. Now your majors. Uh, majors. I do. I say J Cole. Okay. Money bag, yo. Kevin Gates. But you already did Kevin Gates. He can't count. Okay. Uh, well, who I say J Cole, Money mm -hmm. bag, yo. Mm -hmm. Um, young boy. Um. Uh, the baby. And Rihanna. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so <clears throat> who are as far as um celebrity have you met? Man. That's, yeah. That's, that's, maybe that's, that's maybe that's the it. ones you were most starstruck about? I ain't never starstruck. Mo you most excited to meet? And I, I ain't never starstruck because we people, you know, mm -hmm. like they eat, sleep, shit, bleed, just it's like, like us. Mm -hmm. Um man, two chains, man, two chains. Uh, I met Lil Wayne, I met Young Jeezy, Kevin Gates, of course. Um, man, Bun B, Zero, uh, Slim Thug, my partner, Power Wire, my partner, uh, Lil Kiki, Lil Flip, my partner, um, Money Bag, yo. Um, man, it's a lot. I met a lot of people, bro. Um, Rick Ross. T.I., the Migos. I met a lot of people, bro. Like, mm. yeah, a lot. It's, it, it go longer than that. Yeah. Because of the Imagine. shows and things that I've done with people. So, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a lot. <clears throat> um, so as far as promotions in the city and so forth, what all things have you, you done as far as promotions or maybe brought down or? Many promotions? What do you mean? Like, I mean, have you brought an artist down here before? Uh, me personally, I never just bought somebody, mm -hmm. but I worked with people to bring somebody. Mm -hmm. I never brought somebody by myself. Like so, huh? Uh, but yeah, I worked with uh, man, that a lot of the people I just said. Yeah, <laughs> I was a part of those. Yeah. <clears throat> so, what's something that you want to talk about? Something I mean, you said you have a new album coming up, correct? Yeah, 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 man. My new album, Return of the King. Uh, doing a little bit of singing, but mostly rapping. Uh, cause people, 
for some reason think I can't rap or something. So mm-hmm. I had to put together some real nice, some some it's hip hop, but it's like, you know, going in, like going in and it's on some new age mm-hmm. type of stuff mixed with some some real hip hop, you know what I'm saying? Um, which I'm not gonna say some people ain't doing real hip hop, but it's just mixed with that. Um some lyricalness, rapping fast. You know, like I say, my singing. I got a song dedicated to my new baby on there. All right. Uh, you know, just that means I ain't picked the name yet, huh? What? What happened? That means I ain't picked the name yet. Nope. Nope. Dang, how y'all gonna do name. that? You know, we, we got of course names for girl and a boy, but okay. now nah, we, you know, we don't know, so we, you know, just the new, the new baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's okay. So, how long did it take you to finish up this album? Uh. Like a couple of weeks, like yeah. You finished the whole album in a couple of weeks. Mm-hmm. Well, and really, right now I'm just waiting on the the last little mixing parts to go in. And you mixing. want us to think that this is gonna be fire? It only took you a couple of weeks to make every this every album I do only take a couple of weeks. Like I, I write, I could do like four or five songs in a day. You heard? Yeah, 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 yeah. Once you know, if I if I gotta be in the mood, man. And and the reason I say the mood is uh, like before probably about a year and a half ago, I was always in the mood. I ain't never had no problem with nothing. I still don't have a problem with nothing. But in the last year and a half, I've been like really changing my life and uh, making life adjustments. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's something I never really went through in my life. And so it's like uh, turning from some things that I was on or doing <clears throat> and to better myself. And, and when you go through that transition, it's kind of hard, especially if you're talking, you know, a certain way on your records and doing this and that, and then now you're switching your life over, and it's, you know, and and it's more of more positive, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause I don't want to make it like I'm turning into like a a straight god freak or something, you mm-hmm. know, which I'm a Christian, you know what I'm saying? But uh, like for instance, um. I don't smoke weed no more. I used to smoke weed all the time. I don't smoke weed. Yes, yeah, so, what's up with that, man? Uh, you the feds, it, it, man? Huh? You the feds now? What? Nah. <laughs> you know, it, it come from uh, one. It from my baby gonna be here, bro. And uh, damn man, it's man, more. Dedication. You know, I ain't trying to be smoking around my baby. Um, I don't want to have. I don't want to. I want to give my baby a chance to figure that out on its own. If my baby want to smoke weed, then that's their choice, but I don't want to influence them like that, which is going to be hard because I got a lot of weed smoking songs mm-hmm. and I hope they don't hear. You and know. you ever met Devin the Dude? Yeah. Man, that's, yeah. that's one of my favorite artists. Yeah. Uh, a person, uh, Anthony Lawrence, left us, Anthony Johnson, I'm sorry, <laughs> left us a question saying, uh, who's your top two top picks for these politic- political candidates? Of 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 what? Of 2020. Of, uh, of, of the, the, the president? Next, next presidential, you're right. I don't even know. I'm, I just registered to vote too, man. But I, I don't really? even know who's all up right now. Uh, definitely not Trump. Definitely not Trump. What about Bernie? <laughs> I take anybody over Trump. <laughs> See, but we can't. We can't just take anybody because. Yeah, you can. He he's anybody. I understand. I understand. What you're, he's I understand anybody, what you're saying, man. But anybody else. We gotta be more up. strategic, I guess, with with the pick. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know, like, I, I would, like like we just picked Obama because he was black for for a lot of us. Nah, you know what I'm saying? That wasn't strategic at all. We just, I you know what I mean? Nah, I, I never picked him because so, black. I picked him because he articulate mm-hmm. and he, he he really seemed to care and mm-hmm. he was well mannered. He he, had, he respected his wife. He respected uh, human beings. It was a lot more than just he was black. Hey, he ever, you ever met Toby? Toby Noigwe? Mm-hmm. Yeah, who is the candidates? I don't even know. I I hadn't uh, paid any much attention to that lately. Yeah. Oh yeah. He, he's he's a he's a new he's a new one. He's he's artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's actually a new artist from out of Houston. From out of Houston, man. He, yeah, look him up. He's pretty dope. Who who's your uh, top two favorite uh, Houston artists? Man. My fact, Houston artists DJ's to work group. with. To work with that I worked with, or to to, to work just with. work with. Period. Yeah. Uh, I definitely want to do a song with Zero. Okay. Uh, I say Zero and Sauce Walker. Yeah. Yeah. So Sauce is from Houston as well. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. They got a lot of new stuff, new 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 folks. Yo, so what you think about Meg? 
Oh, the stallion. Mm -hmm. uh, I think she's doing a thing. I, 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 I ain't gonna lie, man. Like I, I haven't heard too many songs from her, what? so I don't know, you know, everything about her. But uh, all I see is she doing her thing. Though. She is, man. You know? I, I put her album on and let that mother ride. That's how good. Like okay, she own it. She own it. Yeah, I, I haven't even got a chance, man. I, I've been been dealing with a lot of things lately, mm -hmm. man. It's been crazy for me. Any female artists you want to work with? Uh, like in San Antonio or just what's up? Go up, yeah. General. Uh, I said Rihanna. <laughs> Who else? Hip hop artists. Uh, man, I would. I would. Uh, man, man. I don't. I don't know too many females in San Antonio, so I can't just say. But I, I have heard this one girl named Red or something like that. She was dope mm -hmm. from San Antonio. I think mm -hmm. her name was Red. Got, uh, but uh, as far as like pretty period, um, I like uh, man, what's that damn girl name? Yeah, you ever heard of Cat Dojo or something? Like, Dojo Cat, yeah, I like her. Who's that? Is that the, the Moo Chick? The Moo yeah. Chick, yeah, okay, yeah, she dope. I know, I know. Yeah. that's what she's known for, yeah, the Moo, yeah, mm -hmm. nah, she, she, she's very talented. Uh, moves was something she just did for attention as far as what you mm -hmm. need. Uh, but uh, that girl Lizzo is dope. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, man, it's a couple other. Oh uh, man, what's that damn girl name? Yeah, really? Yeah, she from he, well, she from Minnesota, but she mm -hmm. she was raised. She went to high school in Tech in uh, Houston. Uh, man, it's a couple other ones. Man, I just can't think of their names right now, but. It's it's a couple of little females that go hard, man. How do you feel about Nikki retiring? Oh, I Nikki no retiring? Oh, yeah, <laughs> I, I don't think she retiring. I think she just saying it's that. It's a stunt. Yeah, but yeah, Nikki. Yeah, see, that's one of them I was thinking that I just didn't say. Nikki, very dope, man. She's yeah. very hot. You know, Cardi B hot too. You know, yeah. got a lot can, of hot ones. Cannot say a Cardi B. You know? Who who's a, but who's the sorriest rapper in San Antonio though? Oh. <laughs> Oh, man, look, I'm going to be honest, man. There's a lot of sorry rappers in San Antonio. I know. But who do you think of that was the sorriest? Like, this. Nah. Uh, nah, I ain't going to hurt nobody's feelings, man. I okay. care. I care about people. You sure? Yeah, I don't care. Okay. I, I mean, because I, somebody I may think is whack, other well, people might like them, you okay. know? So. I but we asked about what, what you think. We want to know what you think. If to you me, think, that's hating, man. I'm okay. not finna hate on nobody. I like that. Okay. So, um, are you mentoring anybody? Anybody who comes to me and wants to talk, people message me all the time. I'm always giving uh, advice to people. Um, one of the people I was mentoring was Vision, who just signed his first deal. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's the little homie. Uh, Yoda, I mentor Yoda with shit. He asked me mm -hmm. questions here and there. Um, anybody, man, Mateo son, so love to him. Rich, Rich, Rich didn't hit me up on some questions. Rich is Rich asked me for certain things, and I, you know, I do my best to to lead him in the right direction. Right. What is it that San Antonio artists need to do to get it on and popping? Like I, I'm not understanding. Um, first off, it take money, like. Okay. Uh, most most people here are afraid to take a chance on an artist or, you know, because I know people who just spend buku money on shows and clubs and all kind of stuff, but they never put no money down on an artist like 50 racks or more, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I think Blake might have, you know, he, he, he was going through some certain things and I... He might have had 50,000 50, or more put behind him. But he about the only one. Like most people ain't ain't putting up money like that. And so that's 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 what make the artistry. Um, and the reason I say that is because you need a marketing budget. Mm -hmm. And uh, that marketing budget is gonna help you get on blog sites, different places, um, help you to go further because you're being marketed and promoted right. There's nobody in San Antonio, including myself, that uh, has not been promoted properly, you know. So uh, those until those things happen, then and I, what I mean is being marketed properly without having to post on your own page. 
if you can be marketed properly by others, and that's the key, you know, so there's nobody doing that. You may have some people say, oh, my boy go hard. Or, I like this rapper. I don't know who he is, but he hard. But it's not enough of it, and it's not enough of it on a big scale. Mm -hmm. So that's that's the problem. What's a, a question that uh, you wish people would stop asking? Oh, uh, mm, a question of do I live in San Antonio? I've been there for 20 years, man, just because you heard somebody hating on me because I was born in Houston. <laughs> I hate that question. Like, yeah. do you live here? Like, nigga, what? I've been living here since 1999. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> That's a stupid question. I hate being asked. Are you having any shows down here soon? Anytime soon? In San Antonio? Mm -hmm. uh, we just did the, uh, the SO, what's it, the SO? The, the music festival with everybody on that one. Uh, my next one is uh, in Taylor, Texas. And then I, I tell you, I say it's, it's not just San Antonio. My, then after that, my next one is in uh, Corpus with Zero and uh, Slim Thug and uh, and, and uh, who else on that show? Bun B. It's, it's like a Texas Legends tour that we're going to do. Then it's coming to San Antonio, too. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So is there anything else that people you People try to book me all the time. I see. But... I, I charge. Sometimes people can't yeah. pay. I don't charge too much, but people mm -hmm. can't pay their fee. Would you be willing to do a, a free benefit show in San Antonio? A free benefit show? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Depending what the benefit for. Depending on what the benefit. It ain't for little JoJo to get a pound of weed. Is what if it's like a non-profit? Yeah. Would would it have to be a certain nonprofit? Any nonprofit would do. Nah, I man, I was just playing. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, y'all? Got some questions? Come on, ask the questions. You have any questions for me? I hate nah. this part. <laughs> nah, I don't, man. I, good. <laughs> yeah. Nah, you good? How long you been doing this? Oh, uh, I said going on four months. I'm four months. Say, going on four months. I've been doing. What this. made you want to get into this? I always want to be on the radio, bro. I'll tell you why I said I always want to be on the radio, but I just didn't see it happening. It wasn't happening. I was like, that shit ain't happening. Yeah. And then podcasting came around, bro. Yeah. I was like, I'm in there. Yeah. I'm going to get on here and I like to talk. There so, you go. That's good, man. Man, I could, I could do this talking thing all day. What's up? Why you ain't started one, man? I know yours probably be hot. Man, I've been, like I say, bro, I've been going through a lot of things, mm -hmm. life changing adjustments. This is, this is true. I'm about to, I'm about to start doing a lot more things, though. Like, yeah, I'm it because I'm when you're in a, a stage of readjusting your life, sometimes you get into things and you, you're not comfortable with it because you're adjusting. And so now that I have adjusted, mm -hmm. I'm good. Like, so yeah, I'm gonna be doing more things, being more vocal. Okay, okay. Uh, can you give us your social media? Yes, King Kylie by uh, Instagram. That's K I N G K Y L E. King Kylie, and then Facebook is Kylie, K Y L E, Twitter, King Kylie, YouTube, King Kylie. Just Google King Kylie, everything will pop up. King man. Kylie on Radioactive Podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they want to know who you texting. Oh, my girl hit me up, asked me about some show. <laughs> <laughs> they want to know. <laughs> uh, yes or no? Did you yeah. watch that Dave Chappelle special? On what? Was it on Netflix? Yeah, it's on Netflix. I'm going to watch it. Nah, I ain't, I, I ain't seen I, I, it. I'm going to hear some good stuff about it, man. They, yeah. They saying he I seen that, that uh, the one about them boys that got uh, charged with rape. They, uh, when they see us. What's, yeah, when, when they, they see, see us. us. Bro, yeah. Did you shed a tear or did you? Bro. Yeah, that was sad, I, man. Bro, Corey, Corey is a, a, a soldier, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. That's, that shit was sad. They, it was Ava Duvernay, I think. Who I'm gonna tell you why. I, well, I, I saw it a while ago. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, when it first came out. But uh, yeah, man, because I was, man, I could have been me, man. You know what I'm saying? Because of the girl lying on us and all that, that I could have been right the same thing, bro. So it really touched me to see that story. Oh man. yeah, sure, that was sure. uh. But you know, that stuff goes on a lot, man. Like, uh, and most most of us, pretty much all of us, are innocent until proven guilty. I mean, are guilty until proven innocent. Yeah, yeah. You know, they already think we didn't did it for some odd reason. I don't know why, but yeah. 
yeah, that that was uh that was that was touching. Um, do you have a a single out now? Do you have a album? Um, do you have a single out now? No, nah, it's about to. I'm about to draw. I already shot the video. It's about to come out. It's called Return of the King. Uh, the new project is you know, it's and then on adjusting as well. It comes to adjusting. I've been doing music for like 20 years, and most people could say, "Ah, oh, man, you've been doing music that long. You ain't made it yet." I'm not doing it to make it. I'm doing it because I love it. You know what I'm saying? And at any given time, the way that my stuff works, who knows what could happen? Because I know so many different people. You know what I'm saying? So with everything being said, when you love music, man, you should do it because you love to do it. I love doing music because I love to hear myself. I love I love jamming myself. You know what I'm saying? It ain't about if I'm going to make a million dollars or do this. Like, man, I don't care about that. I'm making the money I'm making off of music. I got all my distribution deals going good, checks coming in. So I'm worried about having fun, you know what I'm saying, and jamming myself. Dog. That's all I care about. And if other people like it, then that's a plus. You know what um, I'm saying? So for people who are just starting this entertainment, all aspects of the entertainment, you got yeah. raps, you got podcasters, yeah, all these, what is the best distribution to use? You know I mean? Um uh, gonna get you on the most platforms. I tell I tell I tell people for one, I'm with two distribution companies. Uh one of them is called Empire, which Empire uh pretty much runs everybody. They got everybody on Empire right now. I've, before Empire right now is Rock Nation. That's the only thing ahead of Empire, pretty much. Mm-hmm. Um and then my other distribution company is out of Houston in California called D- GT Digital. Um, you know, get you a, a distribution company that's gonna help promote you, that's gonna help put you in certain places. Um, that is easy to contact because the people be getting on these distro kid and mm-hmm. uh, other little so sites. Why well, you got to do is email somebody, and it's like, nah, man. If you if you ain't with a distribution company, for one, the distribution company should cut you a check be with them for one. If they ain't doing that, then they just putting your music out online. Uh, but other than that, like if, if you know you're doing something when you're getting pre-checks for, for a new project that's about to come out or to be for them to distribute you, they give you a pre-check. Like here you go as an advance. You know what I'm saying? That's how you know that you with the right distribution company. If that doesn't happen and you're just trying to get out there, you know, make sure it's a distribution company where you get a cell phone number, not an email. Because if you got a problem with what you got going on, you don't want to have to email nobody about it. You want to talk to somebody about it and talk to somebody that wants to talk to you and help you and not just use you as, you know, a customer or whatever. Like you want a good relationship with your distribution company. What's your favorite song on the album? On my album? Uh Uh-huh. Woo, man, bro, that's 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 a tough one, dog. Like, cause it's it's. I guess which I guess it's just gonna be the single, it's just, right? It's this. Nah, uh, no. Nah, no. Your favorite song won't be the single. Nah, oh, man. That's how it work. Nah, well, because my my this well, I wouldn't. The song that's gonna come out, I wouldn't even really say it's a single. I'm gonna just say it's like a coming out song. It's a freestyle. I got some freestyles on there. I got I got like three freestyles on there that's just so dope. It's like okay. Yeah, I gotta just put them out there. So the first one is a freestyle, bro. It's straight freestyle. It's a video, and it's you know, like I say, it's showcasing skills, man. I ain't, you know, it, it's, it, it, you know, it is what it is. People gonna see. Shout out to Cooley Films. Cooley shot it for me. Uh, it's it's a dope video. It's a dope song. That song is dope. And then um, I got a song called "Fuck 'Em" on there. That's dope. Uh, the whole project is dope. The song to my Baby is my favorite song, though. Mm. Um, I didn't want to ask this question because I feel like it's probably the most asked question that you get. Yeah. But how did Bang Screw come 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 about? Uh, actually, Bang Screw was put together by this dude in Houston. Um, that wanted me to get on the song, and he had a certain way that he had the hook, and I was like, man, let me do it like this. So I switched it all up. So, not to cut you off, but I know yeah. you weren't just walking down the street. Hey, you, nah, I want nah, you to be in my studio. He had a song. He was like, man, 
I want to have. Let's do something like a. So you knew this guy. School. You and this guy is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cool. he, he paid me for the feature. It it was like a. Uh, he paid me a how to get on a song. You know what I'm saying? And it turned into an all out song, but it was really his song. Like that song, it's not even my song. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I redid it. That's why I did the steel banging screw because I wanted it to be mine. And yeah. Okay, so, <laughs> so, so, he, so yeah, I, I I'm did. still trying. Okay, so you yeah, and this guy. So, 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 yeah, so the dude, he hit me up. He wanted me to get on a song. He had it a certain way. And I was uh-huh. like, man, let's sing it like this. So Can you I remember how that first everything. original way was? I'm sorry. I'm no, I don't. I don't. I you don't. don't. Okay. No, because I only heard it once. And then I was like, no, 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 I can't sing it like that. <laughs> no, 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 no. And so I switched it up. I re- I put it out in my my way. I sung it. Now I will say he was cracking the whip on me. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if it was because I switched it up, but he was just like, nah, you can do it better than that. You know what I'm saying? So I had to redo it a couple of times. And then I got it, put it down. You know, and man, it was just history after that, man. And and what's cool about it is, is that song is like, yeah, it's screw, but it's like a Texas song. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So it like Texas got behind it, bro. It wasn't just San Antonio, it wasn't just Houston, it wasn't just Dallas. I can go anywhere in in Texas and sing that song, and people know it. It's so crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's crazy, man. What was your What was it like your first time hearing yourself on the radio? Oh, man, what it's year a was great that feeling, too? man. What year? First time on the radio, man. I had that was a while ago, probably like 2004, five, sorry, 2005, maybe 2006 with Ham. I had done uh this this freestyle for Ham's show. So every a day at seven o'clock, you hear my freestyle every day, and it was about Ham's show and myself and blah blah. And then then they played the song and they had you get on the remixes and. It's just all kind of different stuff from there. So, yeah, it's cool. That man. stuff is exciting, though. I'm not it, man, it me. is, man. It is. It definitely is. So why has uh, Texas sound changed so much? I mean, listen to Meg The Stallion. Just, listening to, just time. Yeah. Time. The way it's, it's that the music on. industry is going. Uh-huh. The way that artists are going. Um, one of the things you said earlier, you was like, uh, this seem like you're getting left behind. It, like I said, I, I can't say that because I ain't done no music in a while. Um, so how can I be left behind if I ain't dropped nothing? Um, but it's also about different generations. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm from a different generation. I ain't no kid in school, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, at the end of the day though, that's why I'm doing this new project because that's why I've been able to be around so long and still get music checks to do what I do because I, I adapt to situations, I adapt. I don't just stick with the same old way I used to rap or I used to sing or I used mm-hmm. to, I like to adapt. And if the kids want to rap like this, I can rap like that too. You right. know what I'm saying? Um, I think the key to longevity is being consistent mm-hmm. and yes, being able to adapt because that's how people like, like E-40, he's still doing stuff. Um, He can still do that because He's E40, he's a legend, but he is adapting to different artists and still working with different artists, but still keeping it at his as his sound. You know what I'm saying? So it's different ways that you can have longevity. I think I think just building communications, uh building a communication factor with newer artists, older artists, people who are coming up, continuing the relationship is how longevity is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Um, study, study new music, study what's going on, study everything in the music, study the business, um, study, study videos on YouTube, uh, listen to people's different patterns and the way that they rap, the way they sing, the way, you know, how, how go down to the comments and read what people are saying, uh, go to different blogs. You got to study. It's all about studying. Um, my favorite book. Ooh, it's this new book I just got. It's this Rick Ross book yeah. that I got. Yeah, he just that's, came out with a book. That's really good. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Um, actually, this is actually this is the last question. This is this is why this is gonna be your favorite podcast. It's gonna be your favorite energy. Okay, my man, you can jump in on this too. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> y'all know me. So, 
again, y'all, Kali is so great under pressure that this guy can answer anything. He can answer any, he can answer any question. So, guys, y'all ready? You have any children? Yes. Okay. All right, guys. <laughs> Burglar jump comes in the house. He got your family hostage. All right. Your family is hostage. He tells you guys, I will kill your family. This is the choices you got. This is to save your family. Oh my God. <laughs> now, <laughs> my, producer, my producer over there like, why? She knows. She knows about to be so wild. Are y'all ready? Y'all listen. Your choices are you got to suck a man's dick or look, look or <laughs> <laughs> or listen to me. This is, yeah, this is the second. Or you gotta fuck, fuck your moms. Which is the option you're choosing? <laughs> it's cause it's tough. What do you mean? Bro, that it's time to go. Niggas gonna get shot, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not playing. Oh, damn. So you you doing the Kevin Hart? You pulling the gun from under the counter? Yeah, mm. We wouldn't get that far to be having my family tied up and all that, bro. But the, but. The, which one? I, I I was asked this the other day. I was like, "Damn, that's a good one." I man, was like, yeah. "Who thinking of that shit?" Man, the, the, the questions they come out of nowhere, man. Oh, they come man. out, they fall out the sky. I'm like, "What's the one?" No, <laughs> that, that that was a good one. That was yeah. that was the one I had to roll. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Y'all ain't got to answer the question. That was a good one. Okay, no. okay, <laughs> okay. Same scenario, same same scenario with the family. What? <laughs> no, man. Oh, hey, I'm telling y'all, these is good ones. Same scenario with the family, right? You got people that actually answer this shit, <laughs> bruh. Yes. That's like a motherfucker asked me this shit. I was like, damn, that's that's hard. That's tough. No, nah, hell no. Nah. Y'all, y'all didn't answer. No, y'all didn't answer the question. No, nah, hell no. Nah. I would have answered it if y'all would have asked. If y'all would have answered, I would have answered. No. All right. If I had to be, if I stuck with that. I'm answering it. I'm answering it. I would have to suck. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's no way in hell. It's no way in hell. Can you, can you imagine that? First of all, both of them make you want to commit suicide. First of all, thank you. But which one? I mean, you gotta ask yourself which one can you? You gotta live with one. One of them you gotta live with. How you gonna live? With that? How you gonna live with that, man? I'm just saying, why y'all scared to answer the question though? What you gonna do it and bite him or something? Bro. <laughs> <laughs> lucky, lucky I didn't put the one at the end, like he gotta finish too. Oh, oh Lord. Okay. <laughs> All right, y'all. Right, <laughs> got the wrong people in there for them questions, man. Yo, anything, anything else y'all wanna y'all wanna put out there though, man? Nah. Anything easy, not after that. I ain't mean, can't follow that shit up. <laughs> you got it, boss. <laughs> Okay, yo, your jury though, man. I see you flashing over there. Who did Exotic that? Exotic diamonds, my boy Sam. He be showing me major love. Mm -hmm. Uh, South Park Mall, man. He got a beautiful place in there. Look like mm -hmm. an upgraded James Avery. Mm -hmm. It ain't just like a little kiosk in the middle of the mall. It's a real jewelry shop, real diamonds, paperwork, everything. Shout out to Sam, real deal. Got you looking, man. We got you over there. Yes, blind man. to me, are you blind to yeah, me? Yeah, Sam is he nice. See all these chains in that guy on. Yeah, Sam is nice, man. That, that what I'm, I'm a walking display promo boy. Yo, is there anybody Sam else you might want to promote? Exotic diamonds. Oh uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> who you like? You like who paid me? Um, yeah, no. Nah, <laughs> I, I, I mean, you know, different people out there, man. I do. I, I got a lot of love for everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody out there, you know. The churches, you know, much love to y'all. I'm uh, spreading a positive message. Um, my partners over there, Speedway Motors, uh, Austin and Jay. My partners over there, my boy Toy. What's up, Toy? I said earlier, Vision, uh, Lil Yoda. What's up to Rich, uh, Mateo Son. What's up, mm -hmm. uh, everybody? You know, all my people, man. What's up to y'all? I love everybody. I ain't got no uh, animosity in my heart against nobody. You know, I, I got love for everybody. Either you hate or love me, you know what I'm saying? And it's our love. I can't believe they got me to answer that question. <laughs> At least like, <laughs> and, yeah. All right, y'all, man. It's radioactive. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>